But okay. something came up today, man. I want to get your, your point of view on it. All right. I have my take. I'm going to see what your take is. Okay. Man, I'm a... Uh, I say I can say I'm somewhat of a mentor uh, to this young lady, and uh, she she's going through it. Uh, like my bad, man. Yeah, you know, she's going through it with this love interest, man. It's like she's okay. chasing him, but he he's kind of playing hard to get. I would say she's chasing him. Yeah, she's chasing him, but he's playing hard okay. to get. Now, all right. Now, now, <laughs> I know we're both married. But I'm just saying, before marriage, right. right? We both, I'm sure, have been in situations where the woman was chasing us, right? How did that fare? How did that? How did that go, man? Did that go well for her? Uh, <laughs> uh I would have to say, uh, she probably did. I wasn't. Uh, she didn't have to chase. She didn't have to chase me too too long. Mm-hmm. You know, if if she was if she was decent, if you were interested, so, so which makes me believe, you know, this guy is just not interested. You know, because right. I I haven't seen that myself. You know, unless that's the case. Now, now we now we're not talking about like uh uh just relations. You know, in the bedroom, I'm talking about. If she wanted something serious with you and she was chasing, regardless of how she looked, if she wanted something serious. Regardless of how she looked. Right. I don't, I don't. Nah, that's the whole base. That's the whole basis of the interest. <laughs> huh? Yeah, but, but, but see, my thing is, my thing is, man, uh, if I wasn't ready to be in a relationship, it yeah. doesn't matter how how good she looks, you know. Okay. And if she so wants a different. serious, re- yeah, she wants a serious relationship. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got two options. You know, I can play with her, I can toy with her, right. or I could just, you know, not show interest. You know what I'm saying? And I never really, I never really, well, I don't want to lie, man. <laughs> have I done? I, mean, I have toyed with some women who wanted a serious yeah. relationship, and I didn't. I have. Yes, I have. So, so what did you do? Pretty much lead her on or what? Yeah, lead her on. <laughs> yeah, I've done that a few times. I can't lie. Yeah, yeah. As a young yeah, man, sure. as a young man, I've done that. Yeah. And, and it, it never, it never ends well for the woman. Right. I mean, right. I, I have a, I just got a theory that a woman should show interest in a man, but the man sh- shouldn't chase, but he should pursue the woman. So things are right. some yes. Yeah, so, so so everybody has something in the pot. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? Everybody sure. got everybody got skin in the game. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, she got to give some type of signal. So. Right. So you not yeah. chasing. Yeah, and, for sure. And you end up, you know, being falling for the okie doke or getting played. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, man. That's a. That's a. That's a bad. A uh, bad situation to be in, you know. You don't want to uh, get caught up chasing, and uh, you know that's just just a rabbit hole. I feel like it, it don't never end. You know? Never end. Yeah, especially if you get her after all that chasing. Now she can just keep bringing you down, and, <laughs> you know. You feel me? She got now the upper hand. Yeah, she got now the upper you hand. More invested. Yeah, you got more. You got more skin in the game. So you keep going in further, man. It, <laughs> man, know? and it can and, get bad. And I've seen that. I've seen that yeah. happen to guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've never been in that situation, man, where uh, I chased a woman. You know what I'm saying? Never. I have pursued. I pursued women, of course, but they were interested. But right, right. If I if I make an attempt, right, and they show no interest. Man, I back up, man. I ain't, right. Yeah, I ain't trying to force nothing. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Hey, man, y'all want to go down? Bad. That's bad all the way around, man. It, it won't end well. Yeah. yeah, that that to me that that shows a scarcity mindset, you know. Yeah, yeah, and I if think when the that, one... go ahead. No, I was just saying, uh, if you do that, 
you feel like pretty much like this is the one, you know, as if it's not a billion or what is it, eight billion people in the, on this earth, you know. Right. So why even ask one two times that exactly. said they're not interested? Exactly. You know, exactly. it's too many. What they, what they say is too many fish in the sea, or with a plenty of fish, right? Man. So that's just a bad idea to do, man. Yeah, too. It's, it's bad. And, and I think when a woman yeah. is chasing a man or even pursuing a man. She's out of her natural state, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, yeah. And even in nature, anywhere in nature, the male pursues the woman, the, the female. Right. <laughs> the right. female doesn't pursue the male in, in any species. Yeah. Right. Not yeah. But only humans. Only human beings get it messed up. <laughs> but yeah, man. Even the monkey and the lion it. don't even get it messed up. You know what I'm saying? Man, look, I don't understand it, man. That's that's just the way it's supposed to go. But yeah, like you said, man, nowadays the the roles are, are being reversed. Yeah, you know? yeah, and, yeah. And uh, and it's being promoted. You know, it's oh, being yeah. promoted and it's being accepted. You know, so it, it is what it is, man. The best thing you can do nowadays, you know, if you if you wanna, you know, they gonna call guys like us. Uh, I don't know, Stone Age, or right. you know, I guess. Old school. Old school. You know, because yeah. these new dudes, man, you know, they they just something else. The, the women are too, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. yeah so it I is what it is. They, they probably were saying that about us, though. You know, surely they were. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I you guess. Know? But not, I don't, I, don't believe, I don't believe to this degree. It wasn't yeah, like. It wasn't like this. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, it wasn't right. like this, man. Yeah. yeah I, you know, we grew up in a in an era it was different, man. It was just different. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So I told her, I told her, go ahead and tap out. Yeah, don't. I say, man, you setting yourself up for heartbreak. Yeah, don't, don't yeah. even do that. Yeah. Yeah. You like again, even if, even if he she get her, get him, he could take her down there, do that. Yeah. You man. know. <laughs> so she, so you know, if that's hey, your man, homie, th- you know. Yeah, man, that's know. the thing, man. You you keep campaigning, you will get elected. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So you don't want you don't want to put be put in that position, man. That's just bad news, man. Right. You don't want somebody that don't want you. You know. Exactly, exactly, man. And yeah. you know the signs are there. We like to avoid them or not not really face it, man. But the signs are there. But yeah, man. So man, speaking of heartbreaks, man, I was thinking. As I was thinking over that, man, I was like, damn, man, at this age, can a man, at my age, can a man experience heartbreak? And I was thinking, you know, if, if my wife was to leave me, would I be heartbroken? <laughs> hey, man, I don't want you to get, get you in trouble, man. Hey, I don't want man, you to get you in trouble. Hey, we might all get in trouble on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it real. I keep it real, man. You. So you. listen, man. There will be something <clears throat> there, you know. Some, well, I think more so disappointment that it didn't right. end. How, <clears throat> it didn't end how I, I saw it, you know, how I envisioned. And we got all these years in, right. so it's like, right. oh, like you know, like I'm a failure. Yep, it, yeah, yeah, man, I, I agree 100%. Yeah, 100%, yeah. man, you nailed it. Yeah, you nailed it, man. And that's, 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 that'd be the, I feel like that's probably the worst thing, you know, uh, uh, for a guy to go through, you know, really, right. you know, um, probably losing everything he worked for, you know, so, uh, I don't believe any man, um, wants to start over. You know, yeah, not at, at, not at this at age, anyway. right? Right, yeah. or or at any age, I, I don't believe. You know, yeah. preferably, preferably, you know, um, you you like to to live in a perfect world, you know, but you know, obviously, it's not. But you know, you want things to go right, right? You know, the first time, so. Yeah, man, losing losing it all, but like you said, at, at this age, you you'd have more invested, you know, and it'd just be harder to start over, pretty much. 
you know. So yeah. it, like you said, it'd be more a, a heavier. It'd be it'd way more heavier nowadays than you know, say ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. I, man, that's interesting, man. It's interesting. Yeah. So it definitely be some hurt. It wouldn't be a hurt like you would feel at twenty though. You know what I'm saying? Oh no. Yeah, it wouldn't be that kind of hurt. It'd be more disappointment because you know we yeah. we're, we're, we got a, a mature understanding or should have a mature uh, mind and a, a mature heart at this stage, man. And uh, yeah, you know it's not too many times that a man gets his heart broken several times. Like a lot of times he got his heart broken in high school or, or early twenties. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, now he could love other women, but to be wide open like that <laughs> again, that's a, that really only happens one time with a man. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I women agree, go man. through that. <laughs> women go. Women go through that over and over and over again. You, you right, <laughs> man. That's that's now that is interesting, man. You know, I I can't say I ever really thought about that. You know, uh, but I agree one hundred percent. You know, yeah. uh. Shit, no guy's gonna hardly just <laughs> go around and oh, keep doing that, you know. And I, I don't know what it is about us or what you know what that is really, you know. I wish I could identify that and explain that more. Yeah. You know, to be honest, what well, women do? Yeah, yeah. I think it's Cause, it's cause part... we're so emotional. I guess we learn. There you go. We more logical. There you go. You know, it there happened this time, and now we like hell no, nah. hell no, nah. nah, I you can't know? go down that route again. Yeah, I know yeah. how that felt. I don't want to feel yeah. that again. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah. we're logical, and we lead we lead with our minds, and they lead with their hearts, and yeah. that's just that's just our natural state. Yeah. So so women experience heartbreak. Damn man, man, several times in a lifetime. Yeah. If they're not over with one man, over. yeah. If not not if they're not with one man, you know, from yeah. high school to death. Right. You know, that's right. That's rare nowadays. Right. But uh yeah, we yeah, typically men don't keep experiencing heartbreak. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. That'd just be plain old crazy, you know, to us. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> man, I, I remember my first heartbreak and the only heartbreak uh was in high school. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. uh was crazy, man. I used to have this thing, right, <laughs> where I didn't really date girls like that at my school. Yeah. I like to go get girls from other schools. And so I never, you know how guys, you know, girls are passed around. She's yeah, with this sure. guy this year. She's with yeah. this other guy this year, right? Yeah. All in the same school, same neighborhood. Yeah. I never was down with that, right? So right. I would go get me a baddie at another school. Yeah, for sure. in my district, right? So yeah. I got off on that because you bring her to the game, and you're like, "Dang, yeah, she book, knew. she knew nobody knows her." Like, yeah. "Damn, book, <laughs> yeah. where you where you pulled out from?" Yeah, yeah, you'd be yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah, she yeah. bad." <laughs> she foreign. <laughs> yeah, she foreign. So nobody <laughs> yeah, knows. Sure. Yeah, nobody yeah. knows her. So, yeah. what, 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 what? Check this out, though, bro. So I had one. I Man, I was, I was in love, right? Yeah. But I was still kind of doing my thing, right? You know, just it is what it is. Yeah. But that was my girl, right? Right. Bro, we eventually broke up, man. We've been through a lot. <laughs> we eventually broke up, man. Bro, a few months passed. I go to the football game. Now, I didn't play football in high school. I played basketball. So I go to the football game and say, brother, who I see her with? My basketball teammate. <laughs> Say, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so me trying to get some form, it's like, yeah, hey, dog. Yeah, it went up bad. It went, it went, it ended up bad for him. So, yeah. dog, my, my heart, my heart, yeah. when I saw it, my yeah. heart almost dropped. Yeah, like, you seen it right bro, there. I seen it, but I got to be player, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> dust it off, dog. Yeah, I got to dust, <laughs> dust it off, <all> right? <laughs> so, so man, uh, I was like, "Dang, man!" What, what the? So it, my, my mind's just racing, man. So I leave the game, bro. <laughs> I drive to her apartments and stake out in the parking lot <laughs> to see what time he drops her off. <laughs> Cause I don't know if they had sex or not. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs>
the video of one time he drops her off. I don't oh, know if they had sex or not. Right? I was staking yeah. out. I was staking out. Like, low. Yeah. I was low yeah. in the cut dog. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, man. Oh, so, man. About an hour had passed, bro. And, I, and then it, it's like a light bulb went on. Yeah. And it was like, I told myself, I was like, damn, man. I just, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, man, what are you, what are you doing? Man, right. I'm like, I'm like 16, 17. I'm like, what are you doing, man? You, yeah. like, I said, come on, book, you're a motherfucker player. Yeah. Get, get out of here. Yep. <laughs> get out. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man, I, I rolled on. Yeah. Crying the whole time home. <laughs> yeah. But hey, I had to man up. I had to yeah. remember who I was, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But that ain't gonna lie. That yeah, hurt me, bro. That hurt me. I wanted to put hands on the guy, man. But yeah. that ain't player. So yeah, we yeah. we teammates, man. We we uh I don't even know if we really spoke, man, after that, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. It, it was crazy. It's wild, bro. man. It's yeah. my world, boy. Yeah, it's my old world. You at a young age. Yeah, yeah, man. So I learned a lot yeah. from that heartbreak, man. So yeah. yeah. For sure, man. Yeah. That's bad, man. I, I had mine in middle school a little earlier than than you, you know. So I think I, I learned my lesson then, you know what I'm saying? So I you know, like you said, I I ain't trying to get that feeling no more. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I so just wonder what it is. Yeah, what what is it? I know they lead with their hearts, but what is it with women, man, that would make them experience that again? Like <laughs> that mess hurt. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I, that's, that's I, what makes them them, I guess. Yeah, emotional. You know, you they uh, I, I don't know, man. They like the roller coaster. Yeah. You know. Yeah. They 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 like the the thrill. You know, the up and down. It, it does something for them. You know. Yeah. That's what I. That's what I think. You know. Straight yeah. up. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. You're right, man. Man. They don't. They don't like it. They don't consciously like it. Right. You feel me? But they but, can't help it. <laughs> yeah, it does something to their body. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. That that's satisfying somehow. I don't yeah. know. I'm not no psychologist. A psychologist, you know. <laughs> right. But it, but it does something. Yeah, it's doing something. Yeah, man. That, that's they, they wild. Coming man. back to it. Yeah, that's that's wild, bro. Yeah. But man, we're gonna jump into it, bro. Like, cover a few things. Man, what what would you say are the biggest struggles for men? Like, what's what's the biggest struggle in being a man in society? Um, because a lot of brothers struggle with it, man. More, some more than others, more so than others. Mm-hmm. Um, but it could be taxing, you know. Uh, you know, I know, I know. Women say they want equal equal rights and um, yeah, things like that. And I think they have equal rights, but <clears throat> I think they say they want equal they want equality in the relationship. But man, I don't know uh, if they want equal accountability. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they want equal accountability. Um, yeah, I was watching yeah, this skit. Sure. <laughs> I was watching this skit on on TikTok. Yeah. With this uh, this gay couple, this female gay couple, and and it was funny, and, and they were joking, but it was kind of tongue in cheek. But uh, the woman, I guess, who's supposed to be the masculine energy, I guess. Yeah. She was like, "Man, I am not telling the, the girl, her girlfriend, I am not your husband. <laughs> you know, you tried to have me do this, fix yeah. this, go on yeah. the roof and do this, do this. I am not your husband." <laughs> so. <laughs> So, she's supposed to be the man, right? So that's what comes with it, right? Like that's what that's one of the things that comes with it, man. You ran back and forth, like for real, man. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, yeah. that's part of being a man. It's taxing on your body. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, for sure, man. Um, you know, some stuff uh, we just built for. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, I think that. Most guys, but you know, I mean, we glad to do it, you know, 
we we glad to be of service for our wife, you know, for our girlfriend or whatever, right. you know, um, doing stuff that they can't do. It makes us feel good that we was able to to help them do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So by them wanting to uh, do it instead or try to do it instead or, or whatever, you know, that kind of takes something away from us, mm-hmm. you know, when 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 they don't necessarily have to, you know, when they can kick back at this time, you know, right. and they can shine at another moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight yeah, I think, up. yeah, it's, it's a lot of responsibility and uh, the bar is set high. You know, we don't get a lot of room. It's not a lot of wiggle room for us to have weak moments or just have a weakness. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I mean, a brother. I mean, a brother could be a hardworking brother. Yeah. But he got to do so much other stuff, man. She, he, he got to be able to fight. <laughs> he got to be able to handle a gun. Yeah. He, got, he got to be cool. He got to be funny. Yeah. He got to be good yeah. in the bed. He got to have all this stuff. But man. we, I think, men make allowances for a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Cause we'll, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll even when we're dating and we might see somebody. And we'll make an excuse for a woman we with. Your boys might be like, when you date somebody, your boys be like, hey, that, that shit. And we be like, nigga, she got a fat ass, though. Or she got a good yeah. job. Or yeah, she cool. Or she cool in a mug, dog. We, yeah. we gonna make it right. Like, we'll pull yeah. out that goodness, whatever it is. You're we right. don't, we don't care. <laughs> yeah, man. Men, men, for the most part, man, I, a lot of guys, I, I think they um, they quick they 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 settle, you know. Mm-hmm. They'll settle, man. Like you said, uh, I, I believe they're settling, and women women tend to be more picky, you know. Oh, but that's yeah. because they have more options, you know. Generally Do they speaking, really? Do they really? Hundred percent, hundred and hundred thousand percent. They got more options, man. They got more options, you know. They. They valuable just for being a woman, you know. They don't have to do anything to gain value. Now, I'm, I'm okay. When you say options, now they got options. I, I feel as far as when it comes to if there's going to be sex, they control that. But as far yeah. as as far as being married or having okay. a guy that will come in, pay bills, and protect okay. you, yeah, all, they ain't got to pick up the litter. Uh, now, now a woman, a woman. I don't care, man, how she looks, what she weighs. The most handsome, the most handsome guy, yeah, <laughs> will, will will get with the most unattractive woman, maybe on the right. down low, or right. whatever, or right. on, not on the down low. But yeah, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? So they got options like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we 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 hit, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so they got options, right? But as right. far as they selling down, in. right? As far as selling down and marrying and being my girl, I think we got that. We got that. Yeah, hundred percent, man. I, and I and I agree with that, you know. But it, but um, I kind of forget where I was at with well, with my point. I was trying to say they got options, you know. But um, for just being, you said for being a, a woman, just being a woman. Yeah. So, okay. So they do have, they will have the options, you know, I'm going to double down on this one. Okay. So they will have the options, but it may not be the options that they want. Okay. Any decent looking woman is going to get tons of attention from uh, of uh, probably Gaza at every level, you Mm -hmm. know, from the guys that's begging for attention to the guys that's running away from her, right, you know. Right. So, yeah, you know, yeah. she 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 has. I guess she don't have the option of the guys that's running away from her, you know. But I right. I, I think you know what I mean, right? You know, right, right. She has plenty of options. So if she has to pick from a crew of guys that she don't necessarily have interest in, she still has the options, you know. But she's not going to want to settle, right? You know, when the guy a guy would take that. You right. know, and, and and still be happy. 
Hey man, listen. You know? a, a woman walking down the street, yeah. butt naked. That's why they say guys have to. Guys are simple. Yeah, man. She. Yeah. I'm telling, dude. There's gonna be a few guys trying to get her in his ride. If she, I'm talking about no clothing, she has on no clothing walking down the street. There's gonna be guys. Now, now, there's ob- obviously something wrong with her. <laughs> guys don't care. Like <laughs> some yeah. guys trying to get yeah. her in his ride. Right. A dude walking down the street naked, ain't no female <laughs> trying to get him in her ride. Nah, he don't got. He don't right. have a chance. He don't have a chance. Right. <laughs> and, and guess what? And guess what? He he can have the perfect body. <laughs> yeah. In, in in the eyes and in, in everything, he ain't getting in the car, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Straight like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't know what that is, man. You know, like I said, they they got value just for having having that that what's the name right there. You yeah, know? yeah. So, and I don't even know if they know how valuable it is. Nah, they know. It's probably depreciated in in America. It's depreciated, man. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I I agree, but I think that's a new thing too, though. You know. Uh, over the last couple of years, I don't know uh, what's what's happened, but uh, I think it's been maybe some kind of a mass o- awakening uh, of some sort, you know. And uh, you know, I, I don't know what direction it's going, you know. But I think I've seen it myself. It's, it's, I think it's something missing from. I think it's what what the old school uh, didn't pass down. Yeah, you know. I think we yeah we both got to take some responsibility. The men and the women. You got a lot of men. Uh, I know we use this word a lot, man. Simps. But well, the women gonna take advantage of that. That's what I'm saying. So, so it's like like Pim C said, uh, messing around for forty dollars in the club. You yeah. messing up the game. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. You mess up the game. You ain't valuing what you got. Right. The cost right. is low, and so it's messed up the whole game now. Right. You, right. hey man, you remember, man, you remember a time <laughs> where guys, uh, you may have a homeboy that never had no chicks, that <laughs> was never, that was never getting laid. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, <laughs> we all had that homeboy. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, damn right. Yeah. But it's now sad. it's sad, but now it's easy. Yeah, it's supposed to be. You think it's supposed, it's supposed to be supposed easy? To be. I think that's what's wrong with the game. What's wrong with society? <laughs> women women as a as a whole are too easy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah. So it's and, like and everybody has access not. to the same stuff. Yeah. And and I hear they they complaining about not being able to uh, find a, a a good partner, you right. know. And uh, I believe that might have something to do with it. Definitely, you know? man. Definitely, it's easily accessible. So why settle down now when I can? Is like you said, it's easier than ever to get to get some. I don't I don't have to do that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but the, the the struggles, you know, that's one. You know, just. Uh, the demands of a man from a woman, uh, and and, and uh, I'm not complaining, and I don't think most men complain about that. That that's that's par for the course. That comes with being a man. Uh, What's that? Man, just uh, doing what you got to do, man, to to make things happen, tolerating stuff. Uh, even when yeah. a woman's uh, mood swings. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, women have to go through different things, bro. Just naturally, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So you have to, you have to learn how to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think that's important, man. That's that's important to know, cause if uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't always know that. You know, mm-hmm. so if you don't know that, and I didn't, uh, to you, it looked like this person is is being chaotic, right? You know, and um, you don't understand what's going on. Right. You know, so so if 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 you know that and, and, and you come into it knowing that, 
then it just won't be a big deal. It won't be a big deal to you, you know, right. because you understand what's going on and you you can see it right there in front of your face, you know. Yeah. So yeah, it's, and, it's it's just won't hold the same weight. <clears throat> and, and and that's a that's a big problem with uh, men and women communicating. A lot yep. of we don't know each other because a lot yep. of women don't grow up with fathers and have yep. a chance to be around a man and study a man. And a lot of men yep. don't grow up with mother. Uh, with, with, well, a lot of men have mothers, mm-hmm. but they're not seeing a, a feminine, submissive mother in her natural state because she's yep. single and mm-hmm. she's taking on masculine energy. And so yeah. sometimes men like me. Bro, I was 25 the first time I saw my mom cry. Like, that ain't natural, bro. That, yeah. That, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that's not how that's supposed to work. And I'm not saying women are supposed to walk around crying, but you should mm-hmm. see the sensitivity, the femininity of a, of a woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But my mom was taking on masculine energy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Being a single mother. And so that's right. the thing, bro. Like, I didn't. So when I start dealing with women on a serious <laughs> level as a grown man, I'm like, damn, like, toughen up. Yeah, what's this? <laughs> yeah, what's this? Yeah. I yeah. never saw it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. so, uh, and then and then women, so a lot of women, man, they uh, they get intimidated by the voice, a uh, masculine voice or a masculine presence. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Assertiveness. Yeah. Because yeah. they've never been around a man like that. They didn't grow up right. with a man. So, man, the, right. the stuff is off. It's all off, man. Yeah. But, yeah, brother, so... I agree I agree 100%, man. That's that's why it's important to have the, the, the fathers in the house, even for um, uh, little girls. You okay. know, because... Uh, shit, I mean, it's, it's equally as important, if not more important. You know, because oh, yeah. um, you, like you say, you need they they need to uh see a man, you know, see see how it's supposed to go, yeah, in the house and everything, in in order to be able to depict, you know, a, a good partner when they when they get of age. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, you need to see, see a man in his natural state, yeah, mm-hmm. and, and guys yep. need to see mothers in their natural state, man. That, that yeah, for sure. I think that's the biggest thing, man, that help the struggles. Yep. Uh, of men and what we have with, with one another, brother. Mm-hmm. Now, man, I first got married, man, at, I believe I was 20. Uh, I think you got married pretty young, too, man. Yeah. Uh, I know, man, I had no business getting married that young. Uh, yeah. I salute you because I see you, 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 your girls growing. Uh, I was in the same home with my kids at the age your kids are now. So I see your kids growing, man. Uh, they're close to teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, can, I, yeah, I salute you, man. Uh, yeah. Hanging in there, getting married young. I know it ain't tough. I know it ain't easy, bro. Yeah. Uh, what would you say, looking back or, or <clears throat> uh, looking at today, what would you say is a good age? For, for a guy to get married? Man, I think uh, the older I get, man, uh, the more I see in, I guess, the quote-unquote uh, dating pool. Man, it look crazy out there, man. You know, it looks scary out there, you know? <laughs> so I, would, I always think when I see stuff, I'd be like, man, I would hate to uh, get a girl now at at my age, you know, just meeting her. Mm-hmm. She could be anybody, you know. She could be anybody she wants to be. Right. You know what I mean? Because right. I don't know her. Right. You know, so that's scary to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's scary to me, man. And you know, I, I seen some stuff today at work. You know, uh, my my homie at work was talking about some stuff. Some girl uh, posted something on I think one of the, the dating apps. You know, and she said, uh, 
I think she said she was offering uh, uh, da- uh, dances or private dances or something, mm-hmm. you know? Right. And I was like, dang, <laughs> I could, you could fuck around and, and meet her when she done with that shit. Right. Right? Right, right. And that shit never happened. You feel me? That shit never happened though, right? Right. She got a whole <laughs> you know, she got all this baggage that you know nothing yeah, of. But you would never know about it. You feel me? Yeah. And 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 shit at my age, hey, I'm 38. I'm finna be 38. At this age, in between say 25 and, and my age, man, uh, you could do a, a lot of dances in between that time. Oh yeah. You feel me? Something strange and, for some change. And and to guys, you know, I don't know uh, about, I I don't know. I don't know how guys feel about it as dating nowadays, but I know guys don't like the idea of their woman being with a lot of guys, you know. So if if um, if you are um, excuse me, if you if you if you say our age now, you know, it's it's much more likely that she she been spun around a few more times. Oh yeah, no then, doubt. Then <laughs> you feel me when you got a young. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I got a biased opinion on it. Obviously, I got married young, you know. Right. So I'm very appreciative that I did. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You for that for that reason alone oh, at yeah. least you know because I would hate to 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 worry about that you know and I, I don't know I mean that's not that's not gonna come across good to uh, any guy you know and nobody all. wants to believe that that girl used to have a life that they don't know about you know right. and that's yeah. that's just that's just bad man all the way around you know so I think it's best to to get it at a young age you know. Yeah. And figure it out. Just, just, just get through the kinks at a young age. I, I believe, I believe so. Cause man, at yeah. that point, you know, I mean, working out kinks ain't fun, you know. But, but if you do, you can look back on it and this, and those are valuable uh, uh, milestones or you know yeah, uh, moments in, yeah. in y'all relationship that y'all can build on. And you don't, like you, you know, said, and, you don't have all the other stuff. Uh, Baby daddies, step Baby kids, daddies, step man. Oh, uh, family, another family that that you're trying to yep. merge with. Yep. And yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, man. Yep. You multiply that stuff probably by ten every year you go, man. After a certain age, I don't know. I just made that number up, you know. But right. I, surely it multiplies, you know. Every year you get older, you yep. know. So. Yep. I mean, I would just hate to risk it, man. And and at this age, it's you know, it's just something I, I ain't trying to do, really. Yeah. You know. You, you know, I uh, I used to work with this this uh, this this uh, this girl, and she was she was uh, she was white, and maybe this has nothing to do with why they did this. I, I don't know, but I I I worked with a few people that were Caucasian that did it this way. Uh, she and her husband. Uh, have been married, man, seven years. Mm-hmm. And they were just building and building. And they didn't have any kids. They wanted any kids at that time. They mm-hmm. wanted to get certain things established. Yeah. And then bring kids into the world. Yeah. Now, I think, man, that's the best way uh, to keep both people out of trouble and picking up bodies <laughs> along the way, right? Yeah. Did they marry young? Yeah, they married young. So I think people, oh. should, they, man, they, they got married at probably 21. Okay. And uh, I think that's why we had arranged marriages back in the day for, for a few reasons. But yeah. so you know who was mixing blood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so the hormones wouldn't take over and you go out, and, out here and do some crazy stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know who you was dealing with. Yes, but I think where we make the mistake a lot of times, man, like we don't have a plan. So, like a lot of times we're having kids, then get married. 
We don't have a plan to, okay, let's get married. Let's build. We're not putting kids out yet. Let's build. And yeah. then we're going to plan to have kids. Yeah, for sure. I think that's the yeah. best way to do it, man. That'll keep you out of trouble. And if yeah. you plan right, don't just be having kids. Plan right. They keep a lot of stress off of you. You know, to where you guys can enjoy each other, yeah. create some memories together, and build. And then the kid comes into the world to something. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I, I say get married yeah. young, but you got to have a plan, though. Yeah, man, that's that's the problem with us. We we don't have one, you know. We don't have a plan. Uh, we don't have gardens in the house growing up, so we don't know what to do, man. We don't. Yeah. We don't have a good. Uh, you know, I don't want to say we don't have good role models, you know, but we don't have a good example of um, of of seeing how a, a house is supposed to work. Right. You know, so we go in uh, pretty much winging it, you know. We, like right. you said, we have babies and then we get married and then, you know, we yeah. do all that shit out of order, you know, with no right. plan. We just, no we plan. just bringing it out here, you know. Just, yeah, just and waiting. Plan, plan it is the best, the best way to go. I, yeah. I feel so, man. Oh yeah, no doubt. Sure. Yeah. So, so man, as a, as a father, as a husband, man, as a man, mm-hmm. what, what's, what's your biggest worry? My biggest worry probably uh probably losing everything I got. Losing everything, you know. Uh my family, probably. My family, my finances, you know. Losing everything, pretty much uh starting all over is probably the worst thing I, I believe that, that could happen, you know. <laughs> Outside of death, you know, yeah. or, or death uh, you know. Close ones, of course, you know, but uh, losing finances and losing your family, I think it's got to be the worst part, more so your family, because, I mean, shit, you start over with that, you know. I, I don't know. I don't know what's harder, finances or, or your family to start over with, but both of them got to be pretty goddamn bad, you know. Yeah. So I'm not trying to experience either one of them. Right. I think uh... your family got it, family first. For sure. Family first, but man, when your finances are right, it makes the thing things a lot easier, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? I guess everybody, so. You look... Everybody sleeps better. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my thing is just just uh, on productive kids, man. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. just giving back. I can. Yeah. That that turn out to be productive. That's that's. Uh, I don't think it's a worry. But it's something that's on my radar that you know, I focus on. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You got to make sure that happens, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if if not, then that's that's a that's a failure, you know. Oh yeah. If you don't produce what you feel like you should have, you know, and, and put out in society, you know, then you know they could be disappointing, you know, and make you feel like you did something wrong, you know. Yeah, you gonna always feel like you should have did something better. You know, like it was your fault or some somehow. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I believe so. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. Now, man, do you think? Uh, well, well, first off, I think people throw in the towel a lot in these relationships, man. They throw in the towel quick. Man, do you think there's such thing as a as a perfect marriage? You think anybody has a perfect marriage? Perfect marriage. Yeah. Uh, so perfect is a, is a strong word, you Very know. Very strong. But yeah, so I'm I'm gonna have to say no on the perfect, but I think it could get damn close, man. You know, to be honest with you, um, I uh, recently, you know, I've been learning a lot about uh, uh, female nature, and male nature, kind of stuff, you know. And it's been helping me to uh, understand more stuff in my household, you know, as far as my wife, even my kids. I got two girls. Yeah, man. You, you got know. a lot of estrogen over there, bro. Yeah, man. It's a lot of women in my house, you know. So, uh, you know, uh, for a small, a small example, you know, I, I read uh, something 
probably last week about um, uh, women naturally being warmer than men, mm. generally, generally speaking, right? Mm. I didn't know that before. Uh, so, like, maybe later on the same day, I don't know, maybe the next day or whatever, uh, we was in the car ride, and, you know, my wife says, it's hot, you know, but I'm perfectly fine, you know. So it clicked in my head, like, damn, that's just her nature, you know. She's naturally hotter than than right. women are naturally hotter than women when men are. Right. And I'm seeing it right here, you know. She just said that she's hot and I'm not. Right. Boom, you know. So I felt like what I read paid off, you know, in a, in a way, you know, it made me kind of kind of notice stuff that I wouldn't have noticed in the past, you know, because right. before I probably would have just been like, dang, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'm not hot, you know, I don't right. really want to change the temperature, you know, <laughs> I would have done it. I've been there, bro. I would have done it, right? But right. you would have begrudged I'm, it. There you go. But since I read what I read, it hit me right away. Yeah. I was like, that's nature, you know? What you go, you can't get, you can't be upset or feel any type of way about it. Nah, man. Right? Bro, I don't control the thermostat. I don't even touch the thermostat. Like, hey, <laughs> hey bro, you already know what time it is. I just gotta adjust whatever, yeah. whatever she's feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, be so hot. I guess that's the best way to go about it, yeah. bro. <laughs> it, it is yeah, what it is, sure. man. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, you already got that under control, huh? Bro, man, just. I mean, but you know, it you're was, not gonna it win was just, that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not trying to, you know, but it yeah. was it was funny to to see it, it happen mm -hmm. and just to notice it right away, you know, and it and it happens that. You know, I feel like the more uh, I learn and see and understand her nature, uh, it would just help me to understand stuff to where, like you said, I, I would I'll do stuff more because I'm understanding it and it, it just wouldn't bother me. You know, I wouldn't do stuff begrudgingly. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, right. I, I would just understand what's going on. And it wouldn't bother me at all. So right. I feel like if both partners understand each other in that way, they'll be able to to see stuff more for for the nature instead of that person is being a type of way. No doubt. If that you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So yeah, so I I feel like it can get pretty pretty damn close to perfect, man. If if both people put in the effort to understand each other and, and, and know, you know, and that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, man, that, that's a good segue into my next question, man. Um, who sacrifices more, men or women in the relationship? Yeah. Sacrifice more. Right. Well, women... Women sacrifice their life giving birth. You know. But I know people say that, bro, and I'm not trying to sound insensitive. <laughs> no, I'm not, to, I'm not trying to say. <laughs> no, but no, 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 wait, wait, check it out. Check it out. All right. Check it out. What is the likelihood, factually, percentage wise, documented, the True. likelihood of a woman dying through childbirth? True, true. I don't know. I I don't know. It's probably it's probably kind of low, you know. But but that's what I'm saying. We say we say uh, <laughs> we we say like like uh, how about you know, this? Being a cop is a dangerous job. Yeah, but what what is some cops okay. go a lifetime without firing their gun? Y yeah, for sure. Yeah, they women uh. They jeopardize their they, uh, sexual uh, marketplace value by having children. But she off she off the so, market more so than men, more so than men. 
I don't know, man. I don't know about that. <clears throat> I don't know about that. <clears throat> Check yeah. this out. Long Check this term. Out. Um. For long term relationships, I believe so. You think so? Yeah, because a guy, I, I think, is uh, I, I think a woman is more likely to accept a man and his children than than a vice versa. You know. Because the women typically have the kid, the children with but her, you, but but you know, but, you know, but, you, but, you, but you know why? You know why? why? You, what you got? <laughs> no, it's real. You know why? <laughs> All right. A man, a man, a, a woman can accept a man's kids quicker than a man can accept her kids. Right. Because, because check this out. <laughs> no, check this out. Okay. Right. Let's say, let's say, uh, let's say the typical man, when he gets with a woman with kids, he says he accepts those kids as his kids. Yeah. Once they come together, right? And he he's not just saying it; he's doing it financially too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. All right. And and her kids more than likely are gonna be living with her twenty four seven. Okay. So those okay. kids are those kids are in his pocket, in his time, Good in point. his energy twenty four seven. Most most of the times his kids don't live with him twenty four seven. Yeah. And most of the time she don't have to pay anything concerning yeah. his kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, good ass point. Anytime, anytime Yaya paid for anything for my kids, it was yeah. just like her choice to do something or yeah. something like that. You know what I'm saying? Birthday, yeah, Christmas, point. or something she just wanted to do. But it wasn't her responsibility. That was like that was my responsibility. Right, right, right. 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 And I also took on the responsibility of her kids. I felt like that was my responsibility if they're under my roof. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now so, I got you. That's a good point. That's right. a good point, bro. For real, you know. Uh, I didn't. I didn't even get that far into thinking about it. You know. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think yeah. women think like his kids are my responsibility. But right. I think I think right. men think like that. Yep. Like these are my yeah. responsibilities now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Man, gonna take everything and put it on his back. He gonna take it. He gonna take it all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that's yeah, just the, right. that's the way it goes, man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Uh, who sacrificed more? I mean, you know, I don't, I I can't say. You know, uh, what 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 age are we? You know, what age are we talking about? That's you know, good, I, I guess that that mean that mat that would matter a lot. Yeah, that's a you good know, caveat. Yeah. I don't want to complicate the question. You know. Um So we'll say you, we'll say we, we got with these women, they had no kids, we had no kids, we got with them when we were twenty one. And okay. from twenty and from twenty one, uh we're, we're now in our forties. We were together the whole time. Who would have okay. sacrificed more? Uh we, Okay, we, at that point I think it's an even uh trade off at that point. See, uh, I think um, the the woman uh, was pretty much risking her her youth. You know, she probably didn't know it. You know, but if y'all married at that age, she was risking her youth because more than likely you wasn't where you are at that age of forty. You know? right. So, right. She, she, you see what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. We both so restart you, <laughs> though. We both we restart have, you, huh? We both well, restart you. That's that's true, but but the, the a woman's youth is her goal. It's it's oh, yeah. her. Oh yeah, that's her crown. Her, yeah. There you go. So yeah. it's more it, it's more it's more valuable to her than it is for uh, us. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, they hit the wall. That's not necessarily our prime. That's not our prime. Exactly. Our our prime. That's a good point. That's a yeah. good point. Yeah, that's their golden years, really. 
Uh, yep. So that's and, what she and we hit our prime me. in our forties. That yeah, I it, hear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hear sixties. Sixties. You know? Yeah, probably, I heard some guys say sixties. I don't right. know physically. I hear I hear early thirties. We we hit our prime. That's what I I hear. Uh, financially, I hear 50, 60s. You yeah, know. yeah, that's Even, what you know. Forties on up, pretty much. Right, you right. Know? Yeah, so, man. Yeah. You get in a nice but, groove, man. We hit about forty, man. You get in a nice groove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely uh, trying to uh, look forward to that. You feel me? Trying to yeah. see what that's like. Yeah, bro. yeah. Oh. But she would, she would be risking her youth, you know, and. uh I don't. I'm. I'm not sure. He would be risking, you know, everything that he's in, in investing in her over this time, right. you know. Um, and and that and that's gonna that's gonna mean a lot to him, you know. Probably yeah, not her, yeah. you know. But that's going. That's his. That's what he's holding on to, you know. Yeah, he and put a lot into her. Right. Yeah. Right. You know. So. Uh, yeah, I think Man, we both ri- we we both risking. Yeah, we both we both are sacrificing a yeah. lot. Um, and I don't want to make it tit for tat. Uh, we sacrifice in different ways, like you said, man. Just that's exactly what I was about to say. I think it'll be hard to measure, you know, right? Uh, what I believe is valuable versus what she holds valuable, you know. Right. right. Uh, we have different her, levels. Yeah. We what, we what we, she. What she yeah. looks like, hmm. you know, versus what I can do for her, you know. Right. What's, you know, does it weigh evenly? You know what I'm saying? Hey so. man, you bring up a, hey man, you bring up an interesting <laughs> point. Yeah, you bring up interesting point about a a man putting more value on her looks, and yeah. the woman putting more value on. Can he provide his wallet and yeah. what he has in his head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's another reason I think is more, or um, it's more. I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned this when we said when when you should get married, but that's another reason I think is good when you marry earlier because I don't feel like um, the woman is necessarily uh, okay. So. Guys always go for for looks. Right. Um, I don't believe that women necessarily start looking into what you can do for me per se until they get later in their years. Right. You know, I right. think they know it's a thing, but I don't think they hold so much weight on that at an early age. You right. know, so I would say that it's safe to say if you got married at an early age. Uh, She's not with you because of what you can do for her, you know. She's she's well. She sees you your do. potential. She the, great. Yeah. That that's I I will I will be more happier with a woman knowing that or or knowing that my woman knew had I had the potential versus she know I got it and now she wants me. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? She was there at the beginning. She was at the beginning. She's seen it. That's perfectly yeah. fine with me, brother. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I would I would take that ten times out of ten. Yeah, that's a different know? appreciation, man. That's when, a uh, different appreciation. It's more of a pure. Anything. Yeah. I feel it's like a more of a pure love, a, a, a pure attraction. Yes. For whatever you funny, you handsome, whatever it is. Right. It's nothing to do with what you can do for her. You know, yeah, and yeah. Um, I think that's highly more likely at a at a younger age. So, you know, I, I think if you know if that's something that you think would bother you, then you might want to look into that. You know, and consider that. You know, if you're a younger guy. So. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. 